So, you want to hear a story, huh? What about treasure hunters? <laughs> Have I got a story for you? Pandora. This is our home, but make no mistake. This is not a planet of peace and love. They say it's a wasteland, that it's dangerous, that only a fool would search for something of value here. Then perhaps I am a fool. But do not be fooled by what Pandora appears to be. There was a legend. Many people tell it. The legend of the Vault. My father would always go on about the Vault, even with his dying breath. Advanced alien technology. Infinite wealth. Fame. Power. Women. So you can understand why some little kiddos who hear the stories grow up to become Vault Hunters. Well, I have a story you may not believe, but I tell you it is true. The legend of the vault is real, and it is here on Pandora. And they, uh, well, let's call her a guardian angel, appear to guide the vault hunters to their prize. The tale begins right here, on Pandora, with the brave vault hunters, the guardian angel, and most importantly, me. Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and today we have some Borderlands, starting up a Let's Play of the original Borderlands. I told you guys I wanted to start posting more here in Nero's Let's Plays and since we've done so many videos of Borderlands 2 and of course we did all the pre-sequel and then we even did some legendary stuff for the pre-sequel, I figure why not go back to the original Borderlands. Perhaps for some of you guys out there that haven't even actually played this game, so that's going to be pretty cool. So here are the four people we get to choose from. If you play Borderlands 2, you probably recognize all of these people. We've got Roland as a soldier, we've got the Morikai the hunter, we've got Brick the berserker, and we got Lilith the siren. Now, each one of these people, this game works fundamentally different in terms of the talents as compared to um, Borderlands 2. So basically, there's preferred weapons, and of course, for action skill, like you throw out Bloodling, you get to use the berserker, which is basically punching people. Uh, phase walking allows you to move really quickly, I believe. She's uh, and they also have preferred weapons like uh, Lilith here is good with elemental guns. Brick wants explosive weapons in his fists. Uh, more guy likes snipers and revolvers, and Roland likes combat rifles and shotguns. And because of that, I'm actually going to go with Roland just because Don't I'm really into on. the idea of the shotguns. I need you to stay calm and don't let on that anyone is talking to you. Start making your way off the bus. You don't have any reason to trust me, but I need you to believe that I'm here to guide you. I'm here to help you find the vault. In a moment, you'll be greeted by a funny little robot. Do everything he says. You'll know what I mean when it happens. I'll contact you again soon. All right then, mysterious lady that talks to me in my head. How you doing there, Marcus? Good looking fella. Well, we're here. <laughs> Don't worry about saying goodbye. I'm sure we'll be doing this all again soon enough. <laughs> ah, get off my bus. But, but, but. All right. Actually, we're about to be in Firestone. I want to get off the bus. It's awesome here. We're at, we're at, the, we're at the Firestone Motel right now. This is where it all started. This is where it all starts. And then we get a blinding white light. And then we get a loading screen. <laughs> Alright, I'm excited to do this because Borderlands 1 I've actually beaten once. I only beat this game one time. I only did it on the normal playthrough. And I barely remember what happens. <laughs> Clappy! How you doing, buddy? Welcome to Firestone. I am CL4PTP. You may call me by my locally designated name, Claptrap. CL4PTP. I play as you the pre-sequel. Communication device and heads-up display provided free of charge by the Doll Corporation. The Doll Corporation. There isn't the Doll Corporation off of Pandora. Yeah, I don't think dolls still run around, are they? Maybe not, I don't know. But just, look at, just look at the UI, man. This feels so weird. I wanted to play through this game because of the uh, announcement that there's going to be a Borderlands Remastered Edition. Of course, we haven't learned much about it, Great. but I the fact there's going to be one of those makes me want to come back here to the way, original please. game. I'm also playing it on PC, where I originally beat it on the Xbox. And oh, that music. Oh, the music. I love the I love the arid uh, Firestone music. It's great. All right, Clappy wants me to go over there, but I'm going to say no. 
Because being the Borderlands veteran I am, I know that the Firestone Motel here has loots. It has sick loots. Alright, what are we going to get here? We got all kinds of nothing. And we got some ammo for our rifle. And get some money in here. Oh, yes. These guys have played Borderlands 2. This building is where I hide but is where I hide from uh, Saturn at. And uh, stick behind here so he can't hit me with his rockets and stuff. But yeah, this is where it all started in the original Borderlands right here. All right, where are we going to go? I think I go up. I'm trying to remember how to get up to this place. All right, here we are. There we are. And here's our chest. This is the reason I came up here. I can get this. Oh, God, this shotgun. Real quick, though. I feel so perhaps the uh, perhaps the music may be a tad too loud, so we're gonna drop it down to about there. Hopefully that'll be a little bit better. But one, some of the differences between Borderlands One, and Borderlands Two, even the pre-sequel. I guess Borderlands Two and the pre-sequel are about the same. Uh, you look at the names of the guns; they all are very long. Like the SPR Two Forty Terrible Scatter Gun. It gives plus twenty four reload speed, minus eleven damage, and plus two projectiles fire. It's very confusing. But I don't believe I actually have another weapon right now anyway. We have a pistol right there that I can probably sell. Let's grab some ammo for this. And let's see. See, here are the different proficiencies. For whatever reason, there's like a glitch so you can't actually look at your sniper rifle proficiency. And the more you use certain weapons in Borderlands 1, the higher your proficiency goes. And then you'll get bonuses like extra damage, extra reload speed, fire rate, things of that nature. All right, so the shotgun is my secondary and I got a rifle as my first. All right, let's do this. I love shotguns in this game, especially like on the original playthrough. Shotguns are actually like one-hit kills and stuff like that. It's just a very powerful, very powerful weapon to use indeed. Alright, Clappy, what are we doing? Where are we going? What's going on, bud? Ah, oh, this doohickey. This is kind of like the new you in a way. This is the new you station. Those of you guys never played Borderlands 1. This is the new you station. <laughs> All right, let's activate her. All right, this is where I can change my name. And this is where I can change the colors of my character. See, you don't get skins, you just get to pick them. And they don't ever actually end up looking that great, no matter what you try. But let's go with that. And we'll go with a little bit of white. And the third color, which is just our shirt. It looks kind of weird, right? Oh, the black looks really dark, though. I don't know, man. I think I'm going to go... That doesn't look bad. That, that right there doesn't look too bad. Now, what's this look like? Oh, all the customization. There we go. Let's go with that. Yeah, to be honest, it doesn't really matter because it's Borderlands. You don't actually see your own character very often, so we'll just do it like that. All right. Now that your DNA is registered, you have the best in horrific death and dismemberment insurance. Do I? If a fortunate fatal incident occur, your new you will appear at the nearest station. All right, then. Now we can head into the peaceful town of Firestone. Firestone. Well, b before you go there, Clappy, I want to make sure that you're that you're nice and you're nice and loud, and everyone can hear you just great. And let's uh, this game. So, all right, well, I guess voice volume actually is all the way up. So let's pop you down just a little bit, and let's pop you down just a little bit. That way, it's a little bit easier to hear the voices of the characters that we're gonna be talking to, like Clappy and all kinds of stuff. Going into ah. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> Here they go. Yeah, I'm glad I turned down the volume for that. <laughs> Jeez. Who's shooting at it? Where'd Claptrap go? Is he, is, he, is he hiding somewhere? It's been a very long time since I played this. Oh, yeah. That's it. Never mind. I remember now. Those bandits really have it in for us Claptraps. Using us as target practice is not part of our programming. No, sir, it isn't. And open! Yes! <laughs> he is. Uh, Alright, so there's bandits and firestone, you say? That sounds like my combat rifle. Now, it's been a very long time since I've actually played through... Uh, the original Borderlands. Uh, I beat it once on the console, like I said. I was playing with uh, Toucan. And we... God, am I not hitting this guy? Oh, there we go. We beat it once. I was Mordecai. He was Brick. And I remember basically... How am I not hitting this guy? Look at this. Look at this. There we go. <laughs> but uh, we ended up beating the game originally once. And I was on the Xbox 360. 
and I barely remember what happens. I remember what happens at the end, but I forget all the details going up to it. I forget all the stuff with Commandant Steel. I'll take this guy on. He doesn't think I will, but I definitely will. Alright, let's show you guys what these shotguns can do. Nerd! Nerd! Oh no! Nerd! There we go. Calm down there, Clappy. I've got your back. I also have a chest open. Claptrap's like, you should open the storage device. There may be something in here. Really? Is that how Borderlands is played? Look at this, my screen getting lit up. There's so many UI differences. Yeah, so let's get the gate open. There's no... Oh man, there's so many like differences between Borderlands 2 and this game. I like it. And by the way, if you never played the original Borderlands, this is going to be Firestone that we're heading into. I'm here. Let's do. Let's do this. Uh, this is what Bo this is what Firestone looked like before all the changes that happened to it in Borderlands 2, which I think is really cool. Once we actually get in there, that is. This way. Oh, good. Uh, you have to. Okay, see the crouch. I remember now. Ha. We gotta go around, be able to get in there because they blocked off our dang gate. Uh, how come he gets to walk up that and I can? I have to go stand on fire. Do I hear some nerds? Oh, I do. I love shotguns. I oh, I missed. I love shotguns. Shotguns OP. Shotguns OP. Let's go through all the junk. Got to do all the looting we can do. All right. Man, the cock time on this shotgun is atrocious. But I want to level up my shotguns nice and early so that they get a little bit better. Because shotguns are awesome. What's my health at? Actually, my health is at 57. I'm going to use the rifle a little bit here. Try and play a little bit more a little bit more laid back. Try not to uh, get killed. I think one of the things that will make this playthrough fun, which I'm not going to like put this in the title or anything like that, but I want to try and do a flawless playthrough this game. I think that would be pretty interesting if I could do, if I can do a flawless playthrough solo. Uh, that would be pretty interesting, I feel like. Oh, am I still getting shot at? I am! Alright, so we're in Firestone, though. If you guys haven't been able to tell already, we're definitely in Firestone. Ooh! Alright. Alright. Did I get, wait, did I get a skill point? Did I get a skill point? Ah, uh, do I have to wait? <sighs> that stinks. I want my skill points, man. I like skill points. I don't even know what uh, Roland's tree really has in it. I know I have a Scorpio turret, of course, but aside from that, I don't know. There is no cause for alarm. This new visitor has resolved the problem. Well, shoot. I thought I was a goner that time. Damn bandits won't leave us alone. Had to lock the place up tight. I'll let you in. Come on. Damn it. Blasted circuits are on the fritz again. Damn circuits. The switch out there, would you? Whoa, cowboy. What just happened here? All right. The doctor is in. By the way, this game doesn't have necessarily a ton of voice acting. As compared to Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel, so you kind of got to read the quest a little bit, which means I'm going to get embarrassed because I can't read publicly very well. Like, remember if you were uh, in school, right? That idea, and you had to read... I didn't even get to click... The, I didn't even get to read it. But remember in school where you had to read out in front of everybody? I'm bad at that. That's a waypoint. The waypoint will tell you where you need to go, depending on what mission is currently active in your mission log. Oh, all right, well... What button do I do to get to go look at my look at my quest? Cause we didn't actually get to see what was happening. Here we go. I thought I was going over that time. Hot day. Oh, all right. So that's ba this one. There's actually he did all the voice acting for it. So it's be the t quest text is basically that of what he just said. Blasted circuits are on the fritz again. We gotta go and give it a go. Now keep in mind, there's no mini map in this game, so you kind of gotta look around on the little map display that we have there at the bottom. Ow. What are you gonna do that body there, Mr. Dr. Zed, sir? Opening her up again. The name Zed. They don't let me cut on folks anymore since I lost my license, so now I keep the med vendors around here up and running. From the vendors, you can buy all the healing you could ever want from a real doc. Thankfully, without the vault as a myth, you'll get yourself killed lecture. There you go. That's what I look for in a doctor. Let's turn this in. Alright. I'm just gonna get 48 XP for this, and that's really it, huh? Alright. 
Not too great, not too great, but it's something. Skag's at the gate! Outside of Firestone, just past the gate and across the road, you'll find several skag dens. A skag is a vicious four-legged creature and that will and they'll eat anything, including you. Do I have to press the down button? How do I scroll down on, on, on the text? Like the down button doesn't work? Uh wait, pay, I have to use page up and down to read this? Are you kidding me? Who uses the page up and down button? Alright. Skag's a vicious four-legged creature and will eat anything, including you. I want to know if you can handle yourself in a fight against some of these beasts. Shut up, Claptrap! So head out there and kill some of them, and if you're still one piece, come on back. Alright. So we gotta go kill some Skags outside of Firestone. I'm gonna freaking shoot that robot. Now that we're done with all that, please follow me and I'll open the gate for you. Alright, thank you. You need to sit there going, I'm over here! I'm over here! Wow, I jumped kind of high in this game. He's like, I'm over here! I'm over here! <laughs> Uh, welcome to Firestone, though. Played Borderlands 2, but didn't play Borderlands 1. This is it. This is what it was like beforehand. This is where it all began. Now, go do whatever you're supposed to be doing over there, sir. I think you're doing, Clappy. I play as you. Uh-oh. Ruh-roh. Yep, getting stuck on two graves. Oh, nerds want to play a little game, do they? Let's go. Oh, hiding over here now, are you? Got some shotgun shells. Boy, my aim is not very good. There we are. Looks like he got under nine toes skin. Don't worry, he'll get what's coming to him. <laughs> you did it. Clap you trap. knew you were the right choice. Oh, the poor little robot needs our help. Yeah, he Would does. You kindly give him a hand. Rescue Claptrap! Claptrap has been shot by the bandits and the damage looks minor. Perform a quick diagnose, or diagnostic and see if you can find a repair kit somewhere in Firestone. You might be able to revive him. He can see the code, guys! We got hurt! Wait, I gotta talk to him first. That little robot is hurt. He isn't going to last very long without attention. <laughs> He's freaking Why out. don't you look around for something to fix him up? Alright. Alright. The little display map thing says it's... Oh, there it is. I'm looking at the display map. I didn't even look and see this thing was right here. This looks like... You could use this to uh, repair a cloud trap, whatever that said. Let's go! We gotta save cloud trap! Cloud trap! Copy. All right, once you tighten in a few screws, replace some burnt wiring, and judiciously uh, apply a little duct tape. Judiciously? Wow, they actually use that word. Cloud trap is rolling around once again. All right. Ha-ha! Not that I see, buddy. Now is the time to get moving and play your part in the journey to come. The journey. All right, boys, we're about to kill some skags. I tell you what. All right, Clapter, you just go. You just go be safe with the one other person that lives in this town. All right, skagaloons. Oh, I miss. <laughs> Roland just yelled critical biatch. Really? Oh, good. Gracious, shotguns are fun. Hold on, got reload, you big nerds. Wow, is that really all? Wow, all you do is kill five. That was simple with a shotgun. I love it, man. Shotguns and snipers. Snipers are also very, very powerful uh, in this game. I, I don't know, the thing about snipers, I don't usually like them in first person shooter games unless they're like a one hit kill. And then, like Borderlands 2, especially in Ultimate Ball Hunter mode, the sniper was a, like the last thing from a one shot kill. So, because of that, I was like, eh, not really into it. I'm going to see if I can get that loot up there. I was never really into the idea of that, so I was like, screw that. I'm just going to go and use, like, rifles and stuff and, like, SMGs. And they're just way better. They're just way better. Let's open up some stuff here. All right. Any other secret treasures? Oh, God. I forgot about Bonehead. That's where Bonehead is. I can't get this stuff without going into Bonehead's land. Oh, Bonehead is such a jerk now that I remember. He is awful. He was the bane of so many Borderlands players' existence. Hey, if you remember Bonehead, you played this game. Because Bonehead probably killed you a million times. Because he's way too high of a level for this area. And he's kind of casually walking around exploring. Then you run into Bonehead. He murders you and he murders you good. Well, that is going to be, I believe, the first episode of Borderlands. Uh, just the original Borderlands. The playthrough of that. Let's go ahead and turn this quest in here to Zed before we end her off here. Alright. Let's see if we can scroll down here. Oh, that's all it's going to be. I guess the Skags didn't give you much trouble, eh? You clearly know how to handle a gun. That's good. Real good. You're going to need it, because I've got something else for you to help me with. What's that going to be, sir? 
I guess I can just wait to read this part. I think I leveled up as well. Fixer Upper. Well, we're going to go ahead and X out of that. We're going to accept that quest. I already got the damn quest, apparently. It just gives it to you if you X out of it. Uh, well, apparently we're going to go fix some stuff. We're going to be doing that in the next episode, though. I want to break this off here. Now, keep in mind, I did break this one off into an episode, but I'm not entirely positive whether or not I will actually break other ones off into episodes. I may just record, you know, hop on, record for several hours, and you just take that footage, break it up into episodes, do something like that. I feel as though it would be a bit better that way. That way, I if, if I'm recording, like, on a schedule trying to get through this, then some days I won't be able to record, and then there will be days with missed episodes and stuff, so I think it would be best for everybody if I go ahead and just record these in long form sessions and break them up into different episodes. Well, either way, I'm glad you guys stuck it out with me this far into the very first episode of our Borderlands playthrough. I'm excited to go back through this game. And once again, it's been many, many years since I played through and beat it. I've only beat it once. And I was only on the normal difficulty. I've experienced none of the DLC. There is going to be a lot of cool stuff to do in this game. And I thank you guys for hopping in here and joining join me with this. We got Roland here, the soldier. We're going to have shotguns and rifles and all kinds of fun and stuff to explore here in Pandora. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.